Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of uh, Spray Cans Tips and Tricks, a series that I've been working on here. Uh, today I'm going to show you a really cool technique for getting interesting patterns in your paint jobs using your spray cans. I'm just going to be painting a little piece of poster board here for demonstration purposes. So right now this is just a white piece of board. And what you need for this is, you know, at least one or two different paints. I'm going to be using three colors. I've got silver, black, and red, and then some dish soap. So what I've got here is a little container with some dish soap in it. I know somebody's going to ask, so for your information, I did not thin it down at all. Uh, I don't want it to run out when I put it on here. Basically, the idea here with this paint technique is that paint won't stick properly to dish soap. So I can use the dish soap as a masking agent and then wipe it off after. Let me show you. I'm going to start, and please, if you're spraying spray cans, please wear a mask. I'm not doing that because I'm narrating, but... Uh, it's important. Wear a mask. This stuff is terrible for you. So I'm going to start here by just spraying a quick coat of this silver on here. Now I'm aware that this paper basically is what I'm using this poster board is not a great thing to be doing this with. You kind of want something that's going to have some resistance to water because that's going to be part of the technique. Um, but for demonstration purposes, I think it'll be just fine. So I've got a coat of my silver on here now. Let me uh, come a little closer and show that to you. It's kind of weird that silver aluminum paint tends to, uh, tends to go on a bit splotchy, but it dries even. So I'm going to give this a moment to dry, but honestly, this stuff dries really, really quickly. So what I'm going to do while I've got it here is I'm just going to spray a black vignette on there so you can see that you can use more than one paint for your first layer on this technique if you want to. So I'm just kind of doing a, almost a burst effect, if you will, around the outside of this. And I'm going to give this about 15, 20 minutes to dry. Honestly, you can let this dry as much as you want. This first layer, you can let it dry 100%. You can give it a day or two if you want to, um, but it does need to be nice and dry before you move on to the next step because the next step we're going to be putting soap on there, we're going to be putting more paint on, and then we're going to be wiping it all off after. And if this layer hasn't dried properly, that is not going to work. So give it ample time to dry. I'm going to give it at least 15 minutes, maybe even half an hour, depending on how much other stuff I find to do in the interim. Uh, and we'll be back to get on with the next steps. All right, guys. So this has been drying under a fan for a few minutes now. So, you know, I can touch it again and uh, it's, it's ready. Now, if you're painting something important here, what you're going to want to do is scuff it lightly. Um, but because this is a piece of poster board, I don't want to mess it up by scuffing it. Scuffing it is important so that the next layer of paint can stick. Uh, in this case, it's going to stick good enough for the demonstration. But if I were trying to make something that was going to last, because this is going in the garbage half an hour from now, uh, I would give this a light scuff and make sure that that layer is prepped to receive another layer of paint so that the next layer will stick properly. So. Now what I'm going to do, and I'm going to bring you in a little bit closer so you can observe this properly, is I'm going to apply some dish soap in a pattern. You can apply the pattern however you want. Uh, you can even use stuff to spread out the pattern in various ways, but I'm going to keep it fairly simple to demonstrate the technique on this one. Uh, and then I'm going to apply my next coat of paint. I'm going to give that paint about 15 minutes to dry. It needs to be dry enough that I can remove the dish soap safely, but I don't want to give the dish soap time to like, you know, gel up completely. So we're going to wait probably about 15 minutes. Uh, anyway, let's bring the camera in closer here and you can kind of see what's going on. All right, so here we go. I've got my dish soap. It's got a fairly thin nozzle on it. That's important uh, as far as I'm concerned because it's going to allow me to apply this in a fairly, well, thin pattern if I want to. And I can always use more if I want to widen it out. So I'm just going to put some kind of design in here. Now keep in mind that it is going to spread on its own a little bit. It always does because it is fluid, it's liquid. It's going to kind of pull apart 
that pattern. So I'm going to give that a minute here to, to kind of settle up while I explain what's going on. Give it a minute, let it do its thing. You don't want it flowing out as much when the paint's already on there. You want that to kind of happen before you start. And what happens here is when I spray this next layer, I'm going to do it lightly. I'm going to do it from a distance because I don't want the propellant from the paint to push the dish soap around and mess up what I've got here. Now the whole concept here is that this paint will not stick to the dish soap. It can't. Um, or even if it does, it won't stick to what's underneath the dish soap. The dish soap is providing a masking barrier, a protective kind of layer to keep it from, from gripping onto the bottom. And I can just simply wipe away this dish soap with some water after. So as I spray this, I'm going to coat everything, but I'm going to be able to pull off whatever stuck to the dish soap later. And I'm going to be left with that pattern where I can see what was underneath it. So again, I'm spraying from a distance. It's okay if you have to do this in a couple layers, but I'm just going to do the one coat here. And you can already see, uh, can you see? Well, I'll, I'll, I'll bring in the camera after so that you can see what I'm talking about. But the paint is just flowing right off of the dish soap. It's not sticking to it at all. All right, let's, let's bring you in close so you can see what I'm talking about here. Pardon the shakiness if I don't edit this part out. See what I mean? So uh, the paint hasn't stuck to any of the dish soap. It's flowed right off of it. And it's, it's going to cause little bits of uh, little ridges around it as, as masking typically does, but I'm going to be left with that pattern. So what you're seeing now is pretty much what we're going to be left with here, except that uh, the dish soap is kind of yellowing it. So let's give that 15 minutes or so to dry and then come back and see what we've got. All right, guys, so it's been a few minutes now, probably 15 or so, uh, maybe 20. And it seems like the paint has dried and the soap has not. And that's what we're looking for. Uh, don't jump the gun and try and wipe this off too early because if the paint hasn't dried, you'll move it around too. Hopefully that's not what I've done here. I've, I'm in kind of a hurry today. Uh, but I've got some water here and just a paper towel. You can use a wet rag, a damp rag or whatever. Um, just something that's going to take this soap off. And I'm just going to carefully go in and wipe. Oh, yeah, my paint's still a little bit wet. Um, don't panic if you're pulling just a little bit of paint off. That's the stuff that ended up on top of the soap that is supposed to come off. But if you're taking off the stuff that's not in the soap pattern, then you've gone too early. So try to avoid that, obviously. Um, that's definitely not what you're looking for. And you will find that obviously as you add water to the soap, it gets soapy. Uh, you get a little bit of lather going. So it might take you a few minutes to clean all this off. That's what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to take the water and, and go over this and then I'm going to dry it off and I will show you what we end up with once I've done that. All right, guys, and that's it. I've got the soap all off of there now. I've cleaned this off and dried it just with the paper towel and some water. Obviously, I didn't use water to dry it. And that's what I end up with. So kind of an interesting technique. Anywhere that I put the soap, obviously, you can see what was underneath. So I've got the silver in the middle, and then around the outside is that, uh, that black vignette. And I've got my gloss red on the rest. So if I were doing an actual project here, like a guitar or something, I could now go in and clear coat this all. Uh, it might take a couple extra layers of clear coat, one or two extra coats, um, because you've got that little bit of ridge there where the red is slightly higher than the rest because of the masking. And you can just sand that out after your third coat of clear and then add another one or two to make sure that you've got that nice buildup. So that's it. That is the dish soap technique. Uh, Kind of a nifty trick as far as I'm concerned. So I hope you guys like it. I hope you find it useful. If you have any other questions about it, let me know and I'll do my best to answer them for you. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.